mazao yangu hapo samani niliweka kwa niliweka kwa kwa nda, niliweka ndawa nikaweka kwa magunia lakini si yabaitika eh imeanza na kuingiwa na mitutu kula ilikuwa inaharibika tunapata hasara lakini kwa sasa tukiweka kwa hii mifuko inakaa muda mrefu pesa sasa inakuwa inawekwa kwa store when i saw the, the bags and i saw what the bags could do I, i felt like this is something i wanted to be involved in so our aim was whatever we do it has to benefit the smallholder farmers so that's how while doing research we always go go back to the farm level to then ask them does this work for you if it doesn't work then we go back again to the lab and try to redesign it's a simple it's a low cost bag but very effective so the pix bags work by uh, restricting the movement of air uh, from outside to inside the bag and just like human beings Uh, any living organism, if they don't have access to oxygen, they will, they will die. They are always saying it's a magic bag. They don't use chemicals, at, uh, chemically treated maize grain at home since we introduced the pig's bags. So you solve several issues. You solve the issues of food security, you solve the issue of nutrition, because kids are, they have uh, you know, quality food and you improve their nutrition status. You solve the issue of income because people can be able to save their grain and sell it later and make more money. So that money will help, for example, sending more kids to school. And also you help them save their seed. So if you store a seed, then you are able to plant you know, a good crop next season. We as Purdue, we are not everywhere. We are not in every village. We are not in every country. So being able to partner with these uh, big organizations, NGOs, like private sector, like different companies in Africa that are into plastic manufacturing, has been really great for us to be able to reach those smallholder farmers. Because some of those partners, they have the boots on the ground. We work hand in hand, you know, researchers, farmers, different organizations, we work together as one, as one family, to try to see if we can make change at the household level, at the family level. If I can make the difference, in the lives of those women that are struggling out there to improve their livelihood, to improve their production, to improve the lives of their kids, to reduce the burden, you know, the workload that they have. I would say that's a driver. You know, this is like a mission. It's like now you become a missionary. You don't want to stop. You only stop when you die. So I urge all my friends, all the stakeholders, We should join hands in making sure that every farmer, at least every household, has a bag.